A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the memorial of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran, SBD. Our, our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus will now begin. Salamatan sa masayang awi, purihin natin at pasalamatan ang Dios ng pagibig. Sa iyo ang masalamat sa mayamang lupat dagat at sa magandang kalikasan at sa aking tanang buhay. Murihit pa salamatan sa masayang awit. Purihin natin at pasalamatan ang Diyos ng pag-ibig. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be and with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, established in 1571. La Naval. There was a big battle against Christians and the Muslims and they won in 1571, so it was established by the Pope as a memorial. Before we begin our celebration, let us acknowledge our sins to so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, the Almighty God, Prince of Peace, Lord of Mercy. Lord of Mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God, Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you are, the, you are Word made flesh, splendor of the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace Christ into our hearts. That we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith who are children of Abraham. Scripture, which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you, all the nations shall be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not persevere in doing all the things written in the book of the law and that no one is justified before God by the law is clear. For the one who is righteous by faith 
will live. But the law does not depend on faith, rather on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be extended to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through him and faith. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. We honor the gospel. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say, it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through the arid regions, searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean, put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. In the last condition of that man, is worse than the first. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. I teach Darwin and Einstein to the seminarians taking a philosophy. 
with discuss evolution then we will discuss the problem of evil I think evolution cannot explain the problem of evil I read the poem once a monkey a monkey got very angry why evolutionists say that we came from them we are descended from monkeys the monkey said it's not true we are ashamed to be your ancestors we are bad you kill your fellow human beings by the millions we never dirty our surroundings but you it's the whole planet that you dirty with your exhaust from your cars it was very nice uh, funny but I think it's also true look at the concentration camps millions six million Jews were killed in concentration camps it was very efficient I had problems with <clears throat> my theology when I visited one of the concentration camps in Dhaka. Very efficient. Then they had conveyor belts, bring the cadavers, the dead bodies to the crematorium. Six million Jews and five million others. The Poles, Catholics, nuns, priests, they killed the homosexuals, they killed the autis, uh, those with autism and Down syndrome. Six million. And very efficient. They, they research on what kind of gas. I cannot forget the name of the poison gas. It was used in the concentration camp that I visited. Cyclone B. They experimented on how many people they, they had guns and they asked people to line up and then they shoot and then they bet. Nagpupustahan sila kung ilan ang tatagusin ng bala, ilan ang babagsa. Napakasama. Sabi ng unggo, hindi. Hindi kayo nanggaling sa amin. Masasama kayo. Where does evil come from? Ba't ganyan tayo? Tingnan mo na lang si Putin nag, uh, ano, nagagamit ng nuclear weapons for nothing. He just wants some area there in Ukraine and he tells them that there are Nazis and, he, and his soldiers are the one killing the Ukrainians bombing apartment houses then he wants nuclear bombs to be used. Evil! So my point din yung ungoy, eh, nagsasabi, hindi, hindi kayo nagaling sa amin, napakasama nyo. So evolution cannot explain the evil of human beings. Sabi pa nung ungoy, kami lahat nakakakain. Kayo nagugutom yung milyon dahil may ilang tao na sila bilyonaryo eh. Nasa kanila lahat yung kayamanan. Injustice. Climate change. Sinasabihan na tayo ng mga scientists, pag sumobra ng 1.5 degrees centigrade ang pag-init ng planeta, tuloy-tuloy na yung climate change. Mag Isip pa kayo ng karding at saka Ulysses at saka Undoy, lalakas pa yung bagyo. Lalalim ang baha. Pero wala namang parang naguguluhan sa tingin ko lang. Nagsasabi na ako na magtanim tayo ng isang bilyong kawayan Ilan lang nakikinig? Yung iba tuloy pa rin sa buhay nila. Tatapon ng plastic sa ano. Naniniwala ako. Dahil sa concentration camp. I believe that there is demonic possession. I believe that there are evil spirits. I experienced those when I was a young priest here. Tubakbo ako, nakita ako yung ang ganda-gandang starlet nagmukhang demonyo sa loob ng Mercedes-Benz na itim. Tumawag ako ng pare na mas banal sa akin. Hanggang ngayon, tatakbuhan ko pa rin siguro. Tanda ako ng pare. Sa Smoky Mountain. 
Pati yung provincial superior namin ngayon, si Father Jerome Marquez, experience supernatural behavior among the young. Yung nagboboses na parang galing sa ilalim ng ng lupa. In the gospel, Christ said, Bilsibul, yun ang pangalan nila, Prince of Demons. But, in the Alleluia, He says, the Prince of this world will now be cast out. It's more powerful. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend. Above the earth, on the earth, and under the earth. Evil spirits are afraid of the name of Jesus. So, because of his death on the cross, we have been ransomed, we were cursed. Naging pag-aari tayo ng prince of de- demons, yan ang ating pananampalataya. But, Bilisibul has been conquered. Not totally, but it will only come at the end of time. But at the name of Jesus, the, na- the evil spirits will kneel. Sa mahal na birhin lang, takot na siya. When we were novices, there was a priest from China because Mao Zedong threw them out, they came here, Father Theodore Kalwai, SBD, talked about demonic position of an illiterate Chinese woman. Kinokorek daw yung kanyang Latin, pinagtatawanan, sabi, balik ka sa seminaryo. Sabi daw noong evil spirit doon sa ili, a woman does not know how to, never knew how to read and write. Pero, pag pinakitaan na ng image ni Blessed Virgin, natatakot na raw yung hindi na naging mayapa. So, we have power against the evil spirits. And dyan pa rin ngayon, our indifference, our greed, ginagawang instrument ng devil yan, how to sow pain and death in this world. Kaya nating labanan yan. Kulang lang tayo eh, ng pananampalataya. Ito panlaban natin. I proclaim, in the midst of a darkened world, that the rosary will help us conquer the evils in this world. Pero kailangan, maganda ang pagka-pray natin ng rosary. Eh baka rosary ka ng rosary, saan na naglalakbay yung prayer? is the lifting up of the mind and heart to God. The rosary supposed, is, supposed, is designed so that while your lips are speaking the holy words, your heart and mind lifted up, up to God thinking about the annunciation, the visitation, the nativity, the presentation, the finding of Jesus and the temple and all the other rosaries. Talo natin yung demonyo. Sa Smoky Mountain lang, pagkitaan mo lang ng cross, naglulut naglulupasay na yung scavenger na sabi, sinasapian na. So ngayon, sabi ng po, global poverty, global conflict, yung war in Ukraine, global warming, that is the manifestation of Bilzibul. And we can only conquer that with the light of the Savior who died on the cross through His mother. Minsan nakakatakot yan eh. Sasabihan ganyan na makasalanan kay papaliwanag sa iyo yung mga lahat ng pagkukulang mo eh. Samadalang doon katatagbo, sa mahal na birhen, pakikinggan ka niya. Kahit ayaw makinig ang Panginoon, sasabihan niya. Do whatever He tells you. Yung ilang galon na wa- ang tubig naging wine. That's what we celebrate today. Power of God manifested through the divine word, especially through the blessed Virgin Mary. So let us be more passionate 
Let us be more focused when we pray the rosary. Because never was it heard that anyone who asked for her protection was left unaided. Prayers of the faith. My sisters and brothers, let us pray to our Father through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Let our response be, Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That like Mary, the Church may ponder the mystery of God's life and love revealed in Christ and the events of our time. We pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That nations may turn their weapons of war and mass destruction into tools of peace. We pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That in union with Mary, we may be constant in prayer and in seeking to fulfill God's plan for our salvation. We pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That through Mary's motherly care, the sick and the sorrowing may find healing and consolation. We pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That the faithful departed may enjoy the vision of everlasting life. We pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rosary and the message of peace that Mary, the mother of your son, brings to the world. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring. So honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, so we made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. I'm up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast of the Most Holy Rosary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven, and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exultation. We our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Spirit, come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, to that sin may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Remember also our loved ones, our relatives and friends who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health and the sick. With Blessed Joseph and spouse. With the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven that we might not be led into temptation but delivered from all evil in the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress. As we await blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace. I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of Christ peace peace be true Lamb God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his death on the cross, he ransomed us from the prince of this world. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring Amen. us to everlasting life. Amen. My cheek, act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in the sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. See your mighty God. 
Sacred Heart of Jesus, Novena Prayer. Divine Jesus, you have said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your Sacred Heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus, in you, I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. Sacred Heart, Whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this, my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother. You entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we find humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, 
protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calumson, Pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Reinademitz, Pray for us. You have given them bread from heaven, containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray, O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to venerate the sacred body and blood of your Son, that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption. You live and rule, world without end.
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mass and the benediction have been celebrated. Go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the divine word. Thanks be to God. Sun.